Properly spooling up your bait casting reel. Let's talk about that. Welcome back to the Guggen Lab. So you got yourself a bait casting reel, you wanna make sure to get your line on there nice, straight, and tight, so that when you're going bass fishing, you're not getting any tangles in it. Well, we're gonna show you how to do that here. Uh, get your favorite line. All you're gonna need is uh, a buddy or something to hold your spool upright and straight. You can literally put a, a pencil, a pen through it, some sort of contraption in your garage. Um, just come up with something to hold that spool. Once you got that secure, where it's in line with your reel, your reel is gonna be putting the line on uh, the same way it's coming off the spool, that's important. So this video is specific to bait casters. If you wanna check out how to do a spinning reel setup, you can click the link in the description and subscribe right here to the channel. So let's get in to the first steps. So after you've got your spool on something, you got your buddy holding it, or you've got it secured on something where the line can come off of it, we're going to thread it through this uh, level wind right here on the front of the reel. So that's step one. Now if you've got, got this on your entire rod, I'm using a short rod for demonstration purposes, but you would go all the way through all of your guides first if you want to do it that way. You could just hold the reel if you want to. It's a lot easier if you have a little base like this. Okay, so now you're going to need to thread your line around the spool. And every reel is different, so you're going to have to kind of finagle that through. If you want a little hack, if you have the ability to take out your spool, open up your side plate on your reel, you can do this. I just made a little loop there and I'm putting my spool back in, but you could go around the back side of the reel. Main goal, you want to get around that spool. Then you're going to come back through the level wind. There we go. Now you got a line going in and a line going out. Now we're going to tie a uni knot. If you want to learn how to tie the uni knot, you can check out another one of our videos here on the channel. Just see that simple 3D wrap uni knot. I like this knot because it cinches down on itself, so it's going to tighten around that spool. We'll cut our tag end off really close because we don't want our tag end floating around in the rest of the line that we're about to reel on here. From there, you can pull on the main line. That knot is gonna go through the spool and just pull and cinch down. So tying that knot around the spool, you are secure. If the fish runs all of your line off your reel, let's just say you get into old Bertha, you know that at the very end, you have that security of a knot tied around your spool. But a really easy way, if you know you're not gonna get all the way down to the end of your line is to just simply take the end of your line, put it through the, the spool hole, one of the holes in your spool, and you can just start reeling. So if you've got a good deep thick spool, honestly, in most situations, you'll never reach the end of that. But this is 100% secure way, and if you're using braid, it's gonna help you get more tightness uh, as you're reeling. So with braid as well, I'll take a little piece of electrical tape just to make sure there's no slippage. With mono flurry, you don't have to worry about that. And then what you're gonna do is just start reeling, like you're reeling in a fish. So you're just gonna slowly reel like you're reeling in a fish. And something that you can do to make sure that your line is, is going level onto your reel is, is watch it and you can move your fingers. If you watch my fingers, when I get to the sides of my spool, I'm gonna shift my, my fingers over to that side and that's just filling that little gap. If you hold your fingers out to one side and leave it there, you'll see that your line will tend to be proud on that side, just meaning that 
it is it wants to go more towards the side you're putting pressure on so you can hold it try to hold it in the middle or you can follow your level line and that'll help you get a, a better level spool I also like to put tension with my fingers if you don't have any tension on your line you can do it all with your fingers right here and get that nice tight level spool and we're not gonna overfill it. We're gonna get it about 90% full. We're gonna stop right there. The reason we don't wanna fill it all the way up to the top is because when the line is coming off the reel, it'll sometimes want to, to bunch up on, on certain reels and it'll actually create friction and create a, a backlash. So 90% is a good rule of thumb. Cut our line. Thread it through our guides, tie our lure on, you're ready to fish. Okay, now you got your bait caster spooled up, ready to go. Good luck out there. And if you want to stay tuned for more tips and tricks, subscribe right here to the Guggen Lab.